everyone, my name is Kaz and today I'm going to be doing a lot of unboxings. So I have boxes for the YA Chronicles, Illumicrate and Fairy Loot. I have six in total and since there's so many I'm going to just jump straight into it. There's no order to any of these, I don't know which months they are. With my recent move things have just been a little bit chaotic so we're just going to go with the flow and see how we do. First up we have a YA Chronicles box. With some of the recent YA Chronicles boxes I haven't been receiving the book because the creators of the box checked with me beforehand um, but they suspected that I already had copies if not multiple copies of some of the books so some of these are just the items but I will let you know which books came with those boxes but first up we have this one here. The theme for this box is a royal mess and we have this really cool illustration on the content card. Looks like, does she have horns? Anyway, she's all battered and bruised and scratched and looks like she's been kicking some butt, which is cool. And of course there is a matching bookmark. Oh. Oh my god, this is so cute. So we have a really, really adorable set of the Lion King stickers, which is so cute. The illustrations for these guys are so adorable. Oh my god. We also have a locket from Belle Regalia. And when you open up the locket, but on the inside, it has a little silhouette of a guy on this side. And on the other, it says Dorian, which is really cute. Oh, yes. Okay, so Chammy from Is That Chammy, formerly known as Read Like Wildfire, is a lovely, lovely human. And she set up her own Etsy shop where she sells pins. And I love the designs. They are stunning. So, so beautiful. And we have another one of her pins. The shop is called That's Lovely Dear. And this one is a fox. And it says The Too Clever Fox. I like him a lot. That's so adorable. Oh my god. Okay, so I just had a look at the content card and the pin is um, inspired by Nikolai Lansov. There were two different pins that could have been included in the boxes. One was the fox and another one was a sailing ship. And next up we have a candle. It says Weasley is our king. Um, obviously from Harry Potter. And it looks like this is exclusive for the White Air Chronicles. Blood Orange Fresh Mint. Oh, that sounds interesting. And I believe this is from Potions Candle Co. Is that? I can't. Don't have my glasses on. Cannot read that tiny font. Ooh. <laughs> oh, that's nice. Mmm. Ooh. That's a really strong scent as well. So that's pretty much it for the items in the box. As I said, I don't have a copy of the book, but I do have a postcard which features the book that was included in this box. So everybody else who bought the box did receive a copy of the book. And that is Four Dead Queens by Astrid Schultz. And I've been seeing this one everywhere. Really, really curious about it and definitely want to read it. Um, it says, it's an enthralling, fast-paced murder mystery where competing agendas collide with deadly consequences. That was the book included in this box. One box down, five to go. <laughs> this next one, we have a nice purple. Did I skip the book this one? Yes, I did skip the book in this one. This was one of my most anticipated releases of the year and I have already read it and really enjoyed it. So anyway, moving on. I'll talk about that at the end of this box. But the theme for this one is space adventures. Can you guess which book it's going to be? I wonder. Once again, another matching bookmark too. So first up, we have another candle. This is from The Book Hangover. Is it The Rampion Crew? Citrus, pineapple, vanilla, and candy. Okay, it's, it's purple. <gasps> it's a really interesting mix, the vanilla with the citrus. Interesting. I do like it, but it's such an interesting mix having the combination of them because I, I love my fruity candles and I love my kind of vanilla or caramel candles and then having some of those mixed together. I just want to eat it, but that's not going to go down well. Okay, next up, it looks like we've got some jelly soap. I've received a couple of these jelly soap things in subscription boxes before. I haven't yet used them because it's such a weird concept. It literally is jelly. Oh my god, it's so strange. It smells pretty good though. Oh damn. Oh, sticky. Ah. It is very, very glittery and it's called Milky Way. It's from Sweet Cherry Soda. Next up, we have a little necklace, a galaxy necklace. That's so pretty. I actually really like this pendant as well. It's a bit of a ball rather than a flat pendant with an image in it. Goodies down. Let's talk about the book and the extra items that came in this box, specifically pertaining to the book. So the book that was in this box was, of course, Aurora Rising by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff. <sighs> 
I really, really enjoyed this, guys. So we have a cool little postcard here. There's also a signed book plate. And it looks like we've got some character cards, which is exciting. So here we've got Aurora Cycle. And then we've got these little character illustrations. Very cool. So we have the Alpha, the Ace, the Gearhead, the Brain, the Tank, the Trigger, and the face. These are really cool. Such a cool cast of characters. I really, really enjoyed this book, guys. It was so, honestly so much fun, but also rather intense. A little McCrate box time. Is this the most recent one that came? So I think this is the May box. Theme for this one is the final frontier. First thing on the top here, what is this? It's raining outside heavily by the sound of it and it's getting worse i apologize but oh my god this is so cool okay so we have like a little mini cooler bag that is really cool oh my gosh and super handy so this was designed by joe painter and the little characters on the cooler bag are from the lunar chronicles by marissa meyer so cool i love it oh my god that's so awesome we also have a sampler that says made exclusively for a luma crate meet emily she can solve advanced mathematical problems unlock the mind's deepest secrets and even fix your truck's air con but can she save the world emily eternal have not heard of this book before artificial consciousness okay okay that sounds really cool okay i'm definitely gonna have to give this a read that sounds really interesting we also have a sampler for the furies by katie lowe you'd kill to be one of them obsession witchcraft murder how far would you go to fit in interesting what is this indrid down only for the deadliest queen i haven't a clue what this is for can I figure out what it is? Let me see. I can't find anything about this on the content card, so I'm not really sure. Oh, these are so cute. Okay, so we have some little post-it notes with a little rocket ship and the clouds and the moon, and it's so pretty. The illustration's just so cute. I can't wait to use those. They're very adorable. <laughs> oh my gosh. This is really cool. So it looks like we have a little luggage tag, a Howler luggage tag. So this is in reference to the Red Rising series by Pierce Brown. That is really cool. So cool. Does it have a little? Yes. Okay. It has a little strap as well. The luggage tag and the sticky notes were designed by Fable and Black. And then moving on to a nice fabric item. What do we have here? Oh, we have a pillowcase that actually fits pillows that I own. <laughs> oh my God, that is so cool. <gasps> is this Katie? Is this Katie from Illuminate? Oh my God, I think it's an Illuminate pillowcase. Well, I'm sleeping with Aiden tonight. The only way it will remember you is if you do something worthy of remembrance. The universe has already given you everything after all. It was here long before you and it will go on long after you. Damn, this is cool. I like it a lot, a lot, a lot. The next item I have is very cool and it will give you a rather obvious clue as to what book was included in this month's box. So here we have a really, really cool glasses case. I think I'm definitely going to be using it. Featured on the case is Squad 312 from Aurora Rising by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff. So here we have a lovely letter from the authors and then the Illumicrate exclusive edition of the book which has pink sprayed edges and also an exclusive cover as well. The normal edition has a purple background where this one is more pink. Oh the title on here is also holographic as well. It's so beautiful. Oh there is one more item included in as well. We have a little magnet that features Katie from Illuminate as well and this was designed by Mono Lime Art. Next up is I believe the April Illumicrate box. Oh okay let's have a look inside. So, oh, there's some pretty things in here. Okay, so first thing we have is, is this a mug? Yes, a Lumicrate exclusive mug, Moth and Mirth, inspired by the Wicked King by Holly Black, designed by Rosie Thorns 88. Oh, that's a big mug. Wow. Oh my God, that is gorgeous. How stunning. Oh my gosh. Oh, so gorgeous. <laughs> I think we've also got a candle from Flickr Ink, Crown of Power, Sunripe Raspberry. Oh, mm. it 
smells like raspberry candy and it's really nice. <laughs> so good. Oh, damn, that's delicious. I'm excited to burn this because it smells so divine. What is this? It looks like we've got a tin. <gasps> this is so stunning. Okay, so on the front it says, once upon a time in a land long since burned to ash, there lived a young princess who loved her kingdom, Sarah J Mass. Oh my God, this is so cute. <laughs> Libraries were full of ideas, perhaps the most dangerous and powerful of all weapons. This is so cool. It's like a book shaped tin. It's gorgeous. What the hell? Why is it so pretty? Who designed this? Once Upon a Book Tin by Moledro Craft Co. This is amazing. I love this. Ooh, what are these? Okay. I recognize this. I'm assuming that the card that was in the other box was probably a mistake then because I've just got a second one of this. So we have this card. There's this one that says Wolf Spring and then Rolanth. Enjoy the wilderness of Fenburn Island. These are really cool. So these are three dark crowns travel posters, which is really cool. And they're designed by Alicia Pinapali. Battery died. Sorry, where was I? We have a little sampler for We Are Blood and Thunder. This is one that I do have a copy of. Also a sampler for A Girl's Guide to Murder. That's interesting. By Holly Jackson. Oh, this is cool. Okay, so we have an Iron Throne little phone holder ring thingy-mabob. This is designed by Fable and Black. At the moment, I have a Hufflepuff one, but should that case die? I will use this next. Oh, okay. This makes sense. So this necklace here has a little metallic pendant on it, which you can then attach these little magnetic coins to it so you can wear them as a necklace. So the little magnetic coin that I showed you from the last box featuring Katie is part of this kind of new collection. So they included the necklace in this box, in the April box this year. And then it looks like moving forward, they're going to continue including the little magnetic coins in them, which is cool. So yeah, each month you'll receive a magnetic coin featuring art of one of your favorite characters. Switch them out of your necklace, decorate your TBR trolley, or stick them on your fridge. Oh, this is such a cool idea. And I have two TBR trolleys. So, you know, these are gonna come in great use as well if I'm not wearing them as a necklace. But this month's magnetic coin, I'm assuming this is Reese. He looks like a Reese. He is indeed. And designed by Mono Lime Art again. Such a cool idea. I'm a huge fan. This is really cool. I think we're about down to all of the book of the month specific items at the bottom of the box. The book included in this month's box was Descendant of the Crane by Joan He. How beautiful is this? This is so stunning and I'm so, so happy I have a copy of this because I've been wanting to pick it up for the longest time. I'm glad that I held off because received a copy in the Lumicrate box and it has beautiful red sprayed edges. So, so stunning. Oh my Lord. Okay, sorry, getting carried away there. But also included, we have a letter from the author. There's also a signed book plate. And it looks like we have some more character cards as well, which is really, really cool. I'm excited to meet these characters when I actually read the book. That's another box complete and all of the Lumicrate boxes for today. So let's move on to the final two books, which are going to be, I think, the April and May fairy loot boxes. Ooh, lovely. Content card featuring a beautiful illustration and the theme for this month, which was for May, is unlikely romances. Oh, this is gorgeous. Okay, so first up we have a travel mug. Shatter Me Bamboo Travel Mug. Oh my God, this is so exciting. An eco-friendly and reusable mug crafted from biodegradable bamboo. Oh my God, that's beautiful. So the quote featured on the mug is, spent my life folded between the pages of books. Ignite, my love, ignite. I love the color scheme as well. It's so pretty with the really like light green. And the pink, it's so cute. I'm a fan, it's gorgeous. Can't wait to use it. Another little candle, this one is Starfall. So I'm assuming it's inspired by the Court of Thorns and Roses series by Sarah J Mass. Bamboo, fresh lilies and soft woody notes. Ooh, definitely smell the lilies in there. That's really nice though. Ah, smells very fresh. The candle is from Little Hearts Gifts and the little sticker on the front is from Taraja. We have a little, a little bag. I'm assuming we've got some jewelry in here. Let's see. Oh, oh, this is so cute. So we have a key ring and it's a nice fancy 
crown key ring, which is really cool. And then there's some text inscribed in it. What does it say? Kiss me until I am sick of it. The quote is from The Cruel Prince by Holly Black. Designed by Fairy Loot. This is so adorable. <laughs> Are these mints? I think it's a little mint tin. And on the front it says, single, taken, and mentally dating a fictional character. I like that quote a lot. And then, yeah, we've got a little mint tray. How nice. We also have a little notepad as well. It says, instead of disappearing, she makes me feel reappeared, reimagined. Natasha Nyong. So this is from Girls of Paper and Fire, I believe, which is a great book as well, by the way, if you have not read it yet. Ooh, is this a tea towel? That's exciting. I, I need more tea towels. <laughs> oh, true love is usually the most inconvenient kind. <laughs> what is this from? Should I know this? Am I going to be annoyed at myself that I don't know this? The Selection by Kira Cass. That's a book I haven't read in a long time. The two characters are drawn by Taraja and the lettering is done by Katarina Book Design. Ooh, we have a little pouch. Oh, it's a Lady Taylor quote. Daughter of Smoke and Bone. It says, once upon a time, an angel and a devil fell in love. It did not end well. That is some beautiful illustrations. Oh my gosh. This is gorgeous. I love it. Hmm, I wonder what I'll use this one for, but the design is also kind of embossed as well. It has texture to it anyway. Very beautiful. This one is designed by Literary Lifestyle Company and it is stunning. I love it. Ooh, we have some magnetic bookmarks. Inspired by The Flame and the Mist and The Wrath and the Dawn by Renee Atier. Designed by Lexa Arts. This is really cool. Oh, there's Khalid and Shahzad, who are the characters from The Wrath and the Dawn. And then we have Mariko and Okami from Flame in the Mist. Beautifully illustrated characters. They're so cute. Shazi's so pretty. I think I love her one the most. She just looks like she ain't taking anybody's shit. Love it. Love her. There's also a postcard for Romanov. I've been seeing this book everywhere and I really want to get my hands on a copy. It sounds so good. If any of you have read Romanov, let me know what you thought of it. But the next two items I have are the tarot cards. So this is a collectible item included, well, a, a pair of collectible items included in every fairy loot box. Each month they have two tarot cards featuring characters from specific fandom. And it looks like we have some characters from the Six of Crows duology by Lee Bardugo. Temperance, most certainly Kaz Brecker, and the Hermit, Inej. Almost at the bottom of the box, the last thing that I can see floating around in here is an adorable little sticker and this features Magnus Bane and Alec. Is that his name? Alec? Can you tell it's been a while since I've read the Shadowhunter series? But it's a really, really lovely little sticker designed by Obsidian. We've reached the bottom of the box. Now we have the book and all the bookish goodies. Let's see what we've got inside. So first up, you can see it's sprayed edges. A really light kind of dusty pinky color. I like it. I like it a lot. Oh, <gasps> Yes, I'm very excited about this one just because I saw um, someone posting about this the other day and I took a screenshot of it so I could add it to my wish list because I wanted to pick it up. Didn't know anything about it, it just looked really cool. But it's this book, The Beholder by Anna Bright. Well, I'm very, very happy. <laughs> So this is a pleasant surprise indeed. The only thing I know about this book is that it's about a character whose I think parents send her off to go and find a husband. She's not allowed to return home if she's not engaged, I believe. Oh, sounds like a little more dramatic than I explained it. It says, on the night when Sella's engagement ends in an excruciatingly public rejection, her stepmother proposes the unthinkable. She must set sail across the Atlantic where a series of potential suitors awaits. It is also signed by the author here. This is just one of those books that immediately grabbed my attention and I was like, I must have it. And now I do. Fate has brought this book into my hands. I'm very excited about this one, if you can't tell. If anyone's read it, let me know what you think. Also a few more little goodies. We have a bookmark featuring the illustration from the content card. There's also a lovely letter from the author. And on the back, we have some character art featuring, I'm assuming this is Stella here, and two guys. I'm assuming it is two of her suitors. Do we have a love triangle? Looks like it, doesn't it? <laughs> Finally, we have Fairy Scoop, as always, which features an author interview in here as well. Some other fun little tidbits. There's going to be a read along for the book, and then some information about next month's theme. So the June theme is Broody Banter. Items inspired by To Kill a Kingdom, The Raven Cycle, The Witchlands, Air Awakens, The Lux series, and more. <gasps> the tarot cards for next month's box are gonna be from Harry Potter. That's exciting. Cannot wait for that. I'm really, really pleased. Was not expecting 
to get my hands on this book so soon, but I'm very happy about it. Thank you for bearing with me, everyone. I know I'm going through this much quicker than I normally do. It's midnight, it's been a long evening, and I wanted to get this done because, as you guys are probably aware, I haven't been posting videos much at all this year. So I needed to do some catch ups and I just didn't want to take absolutely forever doing this. As I was saying, box time. Let's see what we got in here. We have this mysterious little box which has. <gasps> okay, I just saw this side. I, uh, at first I just saw these little paw prints and I was like, that's really cute. What's going to be inside? Is it going to be like some serious black thing? But no, it's even better. It's a Mr. Kindly Tea Strainer. Oh my god. It's way too cute to be Mr. Kindly. Like, Mr. Kindly some sassy shadow cat. This thing is fucking adorable. I can get it open. <sighs> Come on. <laughs> Look at it. He's a little kitty that he sits on the end of the mug. You fill up his little bottom with all of the teeny strings and <sighs> why is that so cute? Oh my god. That was the cutest thing I've ever seen. Best item. Do I even need to look at the rest of the box? I'm so happy with that. No, I will. I will continue. Let's proceed with the unboxing. It looks like we have a pin. <gasps> oh, this is beautiful. Okay, so we have a pin inspired by A Curse So Dark and Lonely by Bridget Kemmerer, a book I read earlier this year. Really enjoyed it. It's a Beauty and the Beast reimagining. It was wonderful. Oh, this is gorgeous. This is something interesting. What is this? Philosopher's Stone. This is really cool. This is a soap from Pretty Suds and it's supposed to be a Philosopher's Stone. How cool is that? Oh my God. I'm gonna live forever, bitches. Ooh, okay, we got something really shiny. Look at that. Oh my God, oh my God, I just, wow. We have a dazzling notebook um, with a quote from Children of Blood and Bone. It says, we are all children of blood and bone, all instruments of vengeance and virtue. This was designed by Stella's Bookish Art. And it's just a really small, plain uh, paper notebook. Just really stunning cover. Oh my god, looks like we have a tote bag. Ooh, ooh, who is this? Should I know who this is? The problem with wanting is that it makes you weak. Lee Bardugo. Oh, is this the Darkling? Hey, beautiful. Oh my god. Damn, damn. This is a stunning tote bag. It's Kel and Lila. Oh my god. We have a book sleeve featuring Kel and Lila from A Darker Shade of Magic. This is gorgeous. And it's also a massive book sleeve as well. Like, this is pretty sizable. So I think this is going to safely fit some hardcovers, which is damn glorious. Designed by Mono Lime Art. And it's stunning. We have the tarot cards. Can I guess who these are? Oh, I think this is Nina. And what's his face? <laughs> god, what's his name? Oh my god, I know who it is. I just can't think of the goddamn name. Matthias. Oh my god. I knew it started with them. But oh my god. We got there in the end, guys. We got there in the end. Anyway, gorgeous illustrations by Emmeline. Oh, these are pretty. We also have a postcard for We Set the Dark on Fire by Tello K. Mejia. Mejia? Magia. I think we're at the bottom of the box. We've reached the end, guys. Oh my god. I can barely believe it. First up, <laughs> some glorious sprayed edges. I love this trend. I am a huge fan. Oh, I'm so excited about this. Okay, so this is this is this is very exciting. We have a beautiful book that you can't see just yet. Are you ready for this? You ready for this? Oh, it's stunning. This is huge. I now understand why this book sleeve was made because this is a very, very tall hardcover. The book of the month is Nocturna by Maya Matane. And I'm very excited to have my own copy of this one because, well, I think I have an ARC copy, but I mean, I'm glad to have a finished copy because it is the June book of the month for the book club I co-host called The Name of the Book. We also have an author letter, which has a really stunning, Stunning. Character art on this side and then on the back obviously the letter from the author. And I just wanted to read this little bit out. It says, I wanted to pull what I call a reverse Aladdin. Instead of a princess and a bandit, I wanted a story starring a sheltered bookish prince with the girl as the rough around the edges streetwise thief. I'm already kind of in love and I can't wait. Sounds so good. I'm, I can't wait to read it. Anyway, we also have the bookmark featuring the gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous content card illustration and then fairy scoop which has an interview with the author and a little bit of information about the theme that came after this month which is the box that i unboxed before this <laughs> you know all the details about that one don't need to touch upon that we've done it 
I have finished the unboxings for today and I am now ready for bed. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. Sorry I haven't been very active at all. I'm going to be doing a bit of a life update video very, very soon. You guys sent me some questions and I'm just going to be talking about a lot of the things that have been happening in terms of moving and new job. Thank you again for watching this video, for sticking around. I hope you enjoyed it and hopefully I'll see you very soon with not just one new video but multiple new videos. We shall see how it all works out but I'll see you very soon and I'll talk to you in the comments. Bye!